This is going to be a quick demonstration of some of the new Internet of Things devices in the new Packet Tracer 7. Let's start by going to End Devices. I'll click on Home and I'll drag over and grab a motion detector. And then I'll also grab a webcam. And we'll set it up so that when the motion detector is tripped, it activates the webcam. Now we'll pretend that these two devices are Ethernet um, cabled. So what we'll do is we'll grab a switch. You can also do the same demonstration with wireless interfaces too, and I'll show you that in a little bit. And we're going to need a registration server which will have a web server where we can use a web browser to manage our Internet of Things devices. Now for the registration server, we can use a regular server, or we could click on the wireless devices and use the Home Gateway Router wireless router. For this demonstration, I'll just show you how to turn the regular server into a registration server. So we'll need to cable up these devices. I'll start by running an Ethernet cable to the server, and then another Ethernet cable to the motion detector, and then lastly, an Ethernet cable to the webcam. All right, all three devices are now hooked up. Now we'll need to give IP addresses to the devices. These will be IP-enabled Internet of Things devices. So we'll give the server 1.1.1.1, and the webcam will be 1.1.1.2, and the motion detector 1.1.1.3. So we'll start with that first. I'll go to the server, and well, I'll go to desktop, and set the IP address. I'll go to the webcam and go to config fast ethernet and set the IP address to 1.1.1.2 and then I'll go to the motion detector click on fast ethernet and make it 1.1.1.3 Okay, all three devices are addressed. Now we need to turn the server into a registration server. To do that, we'll go to Services, and one of the new tools is the Internet of Things tab under Services, where we can say Registration Server and just turn it on. So now this device is a registration server. What we can now do is open the web browser, and we'll go to its registration server web page. And you can see it has a username and password. We don't have an account set up, so we'll set up our account. I'll say username admin password Cisco. And I have an account. So now I have the web based interface for connecting to my Internet of Things devices. Now what I'll do is I'll go to the webcam in the motion detector and I'll set the webcam and the motion detector to talk to the registration server. So what you do is you click right in here in the config tab and you'll see remote server. So put in the IP address and the username and the password of the registration server and connect. And if you see it say refresh that means it has connected. Then motion detector also tell it where the registration server is the remote server username password and connect and it worked so now we've basically registered both devices with the registration server if I go into the registration server and open that web browser again and basically go to myself and put in the password. You can see that it sees both the webcam 
and the motion detector. And there it is. So what's interesting about this now is that we can turn on the motion detector by simply holding down the Alt key on the keyboard and passing the pointer, the mouse pointer, over it. You can see the red light turned on and you can see the motion detector light here and the web browser went green. So we can actually you know, trip the motion detector in the webcam by Alt dragging the mouse over the device and you can see it activates. But it doesn't turn on the webcam. Now to put that piece in here what we need to do is go into our conditions and write a little program that will connect the two devices together. So we'll click add and we'll give it a name. Webcam on and match all and we'll say and it helps at this point to name your devices. So, you know, for this device, I'll name it Motion Detector, and I'll name this device Webcam, and you'll see that'll help. So now, all right, match all. Okay, Motion Detector if it's on is true if motion detector on is true then set webcam to on to true scroll down and click OK then we'll add another rule and we'll say we'll call this one webcam off if the motion detector on is set to false right if there's not a signal from the motion detector then the webcam on is false. And then scroll down and click OK. And now we have our connected actions, webcam on and webcam off. Motion detector on is true, then the webcam goes on. If the motion detector on is false, then the webcam on is false. And let's see if this works. So what we'll do is go back to our home, and we'll open this up, and we'll see if it works. So I'll put this over here. Maybe I'll slide this over here a little bit. And we'll see if it works. So I'll hold down the Alt key and go over the motion detector. And there you go. There's the webcam. Notice the red light. Notice we can see what's happening. Right? We can see the intruder trying to come in the glass door. Okay. So that's just a, a little sample of how you can get the Internet of Things devices working in Packet Tracer 7. You can do it without really needing any scripting or coding, just basically manipulating how the devices work and how they talk to each other and then utilizing the uh, server. I will mention one thing though. If we wanted to use the wireless devices and the home gateway, then we could have done the same thing except this is a wireless router and then all we would have needed to do is basically instead of using wires we could go to each of our devices here let's say the webcam has instead of a uh, physical um, ethernet port let's say it has a wireless port so to do that we'll just go to advanced and go to input output config and change the network adapter from an Ethernet port to a wireless port. Now if you go to physical, you see there is the wireless NIC. Also, the motion detector, I'll go to advanced and input output config and change it to a wireless network adapter. And you can see physical, now it has a wireless NIC, right? And see now they're both ready to talk to the home gateway wirelessly and basically we don't now we don't need a switch and wires now we could do basically the same lab but this time set it up so that the home gateway router is serving up the web page and our devices talk wirelessly to it